for year eight. So when you return in September and we will be year eight, we're going to be looking at myths today for dead. So in the meantime, what we'd like you to do is try and have a look at this knowledge organiser. Have a good read through about it. So a little bit about what Day of the Dead is. Also have a little bit of information here about what a Mexican alabrija is. Gives you a little bit of information about why it's perhaps good to create designs. There's an example of a design down here at the bottom. There's a link here to the National Geographic website which tells you a lot of information about the Day of the Dead Festival. And there's a little stretching challenge question there for you at the bottom as well. Now as an overview, we're going to be looking at the Mexican Day of the Dead Festival. And what I want you to do as some of your work in, in preparation for September is create what's called a Mexican Anabrije, which is a folk art sculpture. So I just want you to do a drawing of a mythic, the mythic creature which you can look at different animals, combine different parts and make a really exciting design. So that is ultimately what you are going to be doing um, for this pack five before you return in September. So I've got the list of formal elements here, okay, which I want you to have a good look through. You're looking at line, shape, form, tone, texture, pattern and colour. Okay, So when you design, your Mexican alabrijo. Um, I do want you to think about the line. So think about how you're actually using your pencil, how you're drawing and designing and thinking about your direction of line when you are creating your Mexican alabrijo. Think about the different shapes as well and how you're going to smoothly create those different shapes either within your um, Mexican alabrijo or perhaps just the outline, those contour lines as well. Think about the form, so think about how you're going to make it look three-dimensional, how you're going to make it look like it's a, a sculpture. Think about tone as well, are you going to use darker areas, how are you going to make areas darker, how are you going to make areas lighter, the health also supports it, so make them 3D. Um, think about the texture as well, so has your animal perhaps got hair or has it got scales or has it got feathers um, feathers so think about how you're going to use your pencil use your mark making skills and actually make the texture look like what you want it to be think about pattern as well have you noticed that there are different patterns which are used within the Mexican Day of the Dead festival and could you incorporate those into your design think about the colors that you use as well do you want to perhaps think about your color palette is it going to be a warm color palette is it going to be a cold color palette are you going to mix colours, blend colours and layer colours together to create some really interesting colour? So do think about all those different elements when you get to your design. So how to present your design then? If you just take one piece of paper um, and then what you can do on this is begin to start showing experimentation and a little bit of research about your design. So. Neatly, first of all, write down the definition of a Mexican and a brie So have a little look on the knowledge organiser and it will tell you a little bit more about what those are. Have a look at some patterns inside the animals. Think about what patterns you can see. Uh, perhaps write down everything that you would like to incorporate into your design. So for some people, you want lots of dots and lots of spots, lots of circles. Did you want to use some squares? Did you want to use some swirls? Did you want to use some triangular shapes, some ovals, some stars, etc.? Think about, just get those ideas down, what shapes you could potentially use in your design. Think about colour then. Um, what type of colours did you want to use? Did you, was there a certain colour palette that's really going to represent your mythical creature? And think about how you're going to lay out those colours. So, for example, if you look at the screen, we've got purples next to yellow so they're a contrasting pair and they make each other stand out. Perhaps you want blue next to orange because they're also a contrasting pair or perhaps you want to use red next to green because they're also a contrasting pair or perhaps you want your colours to harmonise so you want to pick colours that are next to each other on that colour wheel. So think about how you're going to use colour in your design. Think about your pattern experiments as well so have a go at creating some areas of pattern before you put them onto your design. How do you want them to look? Um, how are you going to space them out? Are some going to be larger or some going to be smaller than others? So think about how you place them, whether they're going to be repeat patterns as well. 
And then when you do your uh, design, when you begin to draw it, think about um, filling that page, filling that space. Perhaps you might want it quite large and bold um, in the centre so that your lines really stand out, nice heavy weighted bold lines. Or perhaps you're going to do it quite soft and then you're just going to put all the, all the detail in with the colour and the pattern later. So producing a lovely, creative Mexican alabrijo on just one piece of paper with all your experiments and all your thoughts and ideas around the edges. And then you can write a paragraph just to explain what you've done, how you've created it, and perhaps how you think it also links to that Mexican Day of the Dead festival. So good luck and I look forward to seeing all your lovely creative designs.